here to be used for all of this, and that's no surprise considering what we've seen unfold over the last 24 to 48 hours. But this is one sort of snapshot you could look to see if if we could turn all of that available moisture into rainfall. What would that look like? Well, we've got high, high amount of available moisture across the southeast. That's exactly where we're finding the heaviest rain right now. But there is a conveyor belt, really uh, a perfect uh, combination of that wind flow that is going to bring all of that moisture all the way up into the northeast and into New England, mid-Atlantic as well. So you take a look at that and we get you through the next couple of hours in Greenville, some of that heavy rain beginning about lunchtime, and then you see it lingers through three o'clock. So another problem like we saw yesterday, there's a lot of south to north movement with the storms within the line, but that line is slow. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for our area. So places like Morgantown and Johnstown, you'll have heavy rainfall. Uh, Norfolk and Richmond will see periods of heavy rain. And that's why we do have these flood alerts. That's for the quickly rising streams and rivers. A lot of the tributaries pouring in, uh, getting a heavy rain themselves, and that will uh, cause water rises. By tonight, though, we still have an icy threat because the temperatures are there, but we'll start to see some of that warmer, more moist air pushed to the north. And so places like New York City, you'll be pushing the 50s and low 60s for tomorrow. But by tomorrow, you also see there is available moisture. You've got it coming in from the south and consistently. So those winds are also going to push seawater. And so we have some coastal flood concerns from New Jersey to Long Island. That's another uh, water worry. By tomorrow, again, it's not just the rain, it's the wind. Binghamton, one of those situations too. And still where that cold air has not quite been scoured out, it is going to be either chilly rain or maybe even a little bit of ice. So with that rainfall to come, you can see there with the contours, maybe as much as two to three inches of rainfall in some of these spots. And uh, you can see with Boston, Knowing that we have the marathon tomorrow, Paul, it is going to be brutal. 40s, rain and wind over the place for two days. It was wild to see on the radar. But unfortunately, when you have that dynamic system to produce thunder snow and a lot of it, you know it's going to be a mess for travel. And that's what we have already and still this morning. Talking about major interstate, I-90 closed between Vivian to Sioux Falls, both directions until further notice because of blizzard conditions. And a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for our area. Snow. We're done with the snow. We're not done with the wind. And that's the problem with the blizzard conditions. That's the factor of blowing snow, reducing visibility. And uh, so it's really tough for, and dangerous for crews to be out there. So take a hint from them. Sit tight if you can, of course. I-92, Chicago, up 94 to Milwaukee. You've got a mess on your hands here. And obviously, it's not just the snowfall, but the potential for a little bit of ice um, on some of these off-ramps and overpasses, those elevated surfaces. Still, even when you're just talking about the rainfall, if you're on that borderline temperature, just watch out. I-70, it's all about the water on the roadways. will be blustery at times. And keep in mind, if that high-profile vehicle is what you're driving, that is a, a danger too, and uh, definitely reduce your speed. And that may be something that uh, some of these roadways and bridges decide for you. So pay attention to those uh, road signs. That is an important factor, keeping our first responders safe, making sure they don't have to work extra hard, like they already are working very hard. But you can see that's the forecast for today. And uh, that heavy rainfall will continue to push off to the east. So uh, keeping in mind too that it eventually we'll be talking about tough driving conditions in the northeast. We're talking about driving. Let me talk about flying here because tough flying conditions.